there's a lot of ways to waste energy. So you're making 100% pretty much of emissions, but you're only using a third of the emissions for practical use, two-thirds lost. Uh, we can't get to a successful outcome in the energy transition without reversing that split. We need to be using two-thirds of the energy and only losing a third of friction and and loss of heat and noise and transmission. It's just going to happen, right? We can't get to that flip without a couple of things. Storage, we're going to have to have energy storage. We're, I mean, this is all about energy efficiency, but we're really lousy at energy efficiency because we're really good at making energy cheap. When it's cheap, you don't necessarily, you're not incentivized to be efficient. Storage is important. When we make it, I mean, I'm looking out the window at the moment and it's a little cloudy, so it's not sunny, it's not windy. Uh, on a day like today, we need to be drawing energy out of storage. Um, and then when it's bright and sunny tomorrow, which it will be, and windy, not losing any of those electrons and putting it in storage. So storage is important. Digital is really important because digital is going to help us time shift demand and time shift supply through storage. And it's going to help us trade energy. It's going to help us do all the smart things that we don't do at the moment. Um, and we're at the very beginning of that digital journey uh, in fact, it's part of that, but it's um, and that's a big picture thing that just is going to happen over time. And and in many ways, we just have to unleash uh, consumers to play their part in that process 